when increasing use of motor cars pyramided the demand for gasoline to extraordinary heights, scientists were called upon to devise new methods. How could a greater proportion of gasoline be extracted from the crude oil than that obtained from the fractionating tower alone? To meet this challenge, the scientists turn to products other than gasoline which are drawn from the crude, studied their molecules, and found a way to change them, to turn them into gasoline. The result was cracking. Let's look at a diagram of a cracking plant. Here we see how one part of petroleum that is not gasoline is converted into gasoline. Called gas oil, it is pumped through a pipe into a cracking furnace, heated to over 900 degrees under tremendous pressure. And the individual particles, molecules, are broken into smaller molecules, just as coal is broken under a hammer. If we could see one of those molecules, it would look something like this. The hotter the molecule gets, the faster it wiggles, until finally it wiggles so fast, it flies apart. The pieces shoot around at great speeds. They eventually find partners and form new and smaller molecules that look something like this. These smaller molecules are now no longer gas oil, but are gasoline of high-powered, knockless quality. Some of the gas oil molecules do not fly apart and must be separated from the gasoline. This is done in the bubble tower. Here the big molecules, which are not gasoline, are held back and come out at the bottom as a liquid. The gasoline goes up the tower as a vapor, comes out at the top, and is condensed into liquid gasoline. Gasoline that gives more power to you.